This is a brief overview of the 29 year old female. You notice that the baseline here is equal, normal. Position number two is fine. When we get to position number three, the hyperabduction, there is a severe drop off in the amplitude and regularity. And at number four, there is a also a diminishment in amplitude and regularity. And from positions five through 10, the wave comes back with a normal regularity and amplitude. What this tells us is that like the other patient, at position number three, where we have her hand above her head, she also has a hyperabduction type syndrome of thoracic outlet. And as number four is also positive, this is the position where she has her hand at 90 degrees, takes a deep breath and holds it. This results in a costal collicular type of syndrome. Now in some patients, what will happen is that at position number two, you may also have a diminishment. And the one thing we'll find is that when there's a diminishment at number two, you will always have a diminishment at number four. The reason being the difference between these two positions at number two, we're having the patient breathe normally. At four, it's in the same position, but the patient now is holding her breath. So this 29 year old female has two types of thoracic outlet, partly the hyperabduction here at three, and also from costal clavicular syndrome at position number four.